Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm going to show you how to make this Keto Bacon Cheeseburger Casserole. Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer. Let's make this easy bacon cheeseburger casserole. It is so delicious, perfect for meal prep. I'm going to start with four eggs. Well, actually, let me say, I've already cooked a pound of ground beef and I've already cooked a pound of bacon. So it's kind of like I got that stuff taken care of and now we can get it all assembled and, and baked. So I'm gonna crack four eggs into this bowl. And I'm gonna add in one cup of heavy cream, a quarter of a cup of white vinegar, what cheeseburger is not, it's not a cheeseburger without pickles, so I've got a quarter of a cup of dill pickle relish, a quarter of a cup of granulated sweetener, a quarter of a cup of minced white onion, and a half a cup of sugar-free ketchup. Okay, we're gonna whisk all of this. This is gonna be our sauce and our binder for the casserole. The eggs are gonna help bind it all together. And the sauce is gonna give us all of the cheeseburger flavors. Okay, now we're just gonna dump everything into this casserole dish and mix it all together. You could put it all in a bowl, but I like this, it's easier. So I'm gonna add in our bacon. We cooked a pound of bacon and crumbled it, or you can cut it up and then cook it. Got a pound of ground beef that we cooked with one teaspoon of Montreal steak seasoning. And you don't have to use the Montreal steak seasoning. I think it gives so much flavor. And we've got two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm just gonna stir this around a little bit. And now we're gonna pour the sauce. I'm just gonna smush it all in there. I think the fork will work better. I'm gonna make sure it's all good and stirred up. Okay, this is ready for the oven. We're gonna bake it in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. You wanna make sure that the center is set and it will be set if you let the internal temperature come to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, our bacon cheeseburger casserole is out of the oven. It looks amazing. So I'm going to cut out a serving. This is quite calorie dense. So this casserole makes eight servings. So it'll be enough to fill you up. You can have it with a side salad. Look at how good that looks. Let's try a bite. Mm -hmm. I know it's good because I already had tried it. So good. If you are looking for family-friendly keto meals, You've got to check out this other recipe for my keto crustless pizza. Your whole family's going to love it. Be sure you check that out. Check out this recipe. Let me know what you think, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.